All right, today I'm going to be going over how to create a five-star watch list. Some of you guys have asked me how I find and keep up with some of these stocks. I'm going to show you exactly how in this video, so let's get into it. Step one, you have to scan for strong moving stocks. And the way you do this is you look for the best performers over a one, three, and six-month time frame. Now, these scans are not rocket science. All you're trying to do is find fast moving stocks. Now, if you're on Think or Swim, I have a video for you in the description of how to do it exactly, but if you're not, join our Discord score where people share their scans on all different kinds of platforms. So step two is going to be going through these scans and looking for stocks that are very nice and you want to get in on. So here's a stock, ALDX for example. This thing has been an incredibly strong mover from $2 all the way up, you know, 225% move. Looks very good above the 200 day, had clean setups in the past, had good earnings. This thing is awesome. So I want to add this to another watch list called Strong. So just like with the stock, you want to go through through all of your scans, the one month, three month, and six month, and create a watch list where you have all of the strongest movers. And they don't even have to be setting up right now. You just want to have a place where you are watching every single strong stock in the market. Like they do not move without you seeing it. AXSM is a great example of this. It had a huge kind of EP day. I don't know what got released, but it's been moving very, very strong. So this is one that's on my strength watch list, but it's not even close to setting up. But if it does, I want to be watching it. So once you've gone through all of your scans and added all the strong stocks to a strong watch list, so now your next step is to start going through your strong watch list and look for any stocks that are buyable tomorrow. Then you want to add these to your buyable watch list. So this is what I do after every single close. I will go through each scan again, the one, three, and six, just to make sure I didn't miss anything new. And then I will really focus on my strong watch list. I will go through each stock, see how it reacted that day, and if it's setting up even more, or if the setup failed and I just need to get rid of the stock entirely. So now that leaves me with a watch list called Bible, where I've filtered down through all of the market into these stocks that I potentially want to buy. And then once you buy something, you add it to your positions list. So these are the two positions I have right now, AMLX and GLNG. So there's nothing magic here in my process, but all I'm trying to do is to scan through the whole market and continuously filter out the bad stocks, the bad setups, and end up with a refined list of very good stocks that are setting up. And I find for me that if I create this watch list of just strong stocks and focus on going through it every single day, that it helps me to not miss anything that's taking off that's very good. And a very juicy bonus tip for those of y'all that stuck around to the end is to find a community of like-minded traders trading your style. Like you don't have to join my Discord, but for instance, we have a nice place where people come in there and drop charts they're watching every day. So imagine instead of it being just you, you have tens, maybe hundreds of people looking for setups. They're obviously going to find things that each of us miss personally. So yeah, feel free to join our Discord and check out where we post our setups and go over watch list. And shout out to you guys that are already in here. I'll see you guys in the next video.